video I'm going to show you how to put together these cute cat and dog pop-up cards. They're really fun to put together and really easy and they're really adorable. When you close them they lay flat and when you open them the animals stand up. I think kids will absolutely love these. So let's get busy putting them together so you can make some of these cute cards for Valentine's or even birthday. I've included um, the birthday sentiments as well, so you can make them for a birthday instead of Valentine's all year round. Okay, we'll get started putting these together now. Let's start out by putting the cat card together. It's really quite simple to put together. I've gone ahead and glued down the meow letters, and I've gone ahead and glued down the little cat tail piece right against the fold down here. So make sure the bottom of those feet touch the fold and that'll put the cattail in the exact correct position. So let's go ahead and put our pink piece on the back of our white piece and finish up our cat. I've gone ahead and glued down the little black piece, the oval. It goes vertically through the middle here to, to cover the eyes and the mouth. So let's go ahead and put a little adhesive here on the back of the white piece. And we'll layer on the pink piece behind. So you can go ahead and put it over all the areas, just avoiding those holes so we don't have any glue that leaks around the edges. And then we'll just go ahead and put that on. It's symmetrical both directions, so it should uh, be easy to place. And look how cute the kitty is with all those layers. And the next thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and take our body of our cat and this is the part that creates the pop-up. So you'll notice at the bottom of each of these pieces there's some feet and those have little score marks that you need to fold. So make sure that you fold all those feet all in one direction. Just like if it was a cat, it would have all its feet going forward. So let's go ahead and put some adhesive here on the back piece and we're going to line that right up with the back piece here on our card. Makes it nice and easy to line everything up exactly where you want it. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of adhesive here on the bottom of the, of the feet so that I can glue those down as well. So we'll make sure we line those feet up at the bottom of that, um, right at that fold line and at the bottom of the other piece underneath. And then we'll just go ahead and close our card and make sure that those feet glue down and that, that they um, fold when, uh, right on the crease. So just hold that while it's setting and you'll get a nice seal on that. And then while that's um, gluing, we just need to put a little bit of glue right here on the bottom of these two feet. So the best way to do this is to go ahead and just lay that down flat and fold those feet up Put a little adhesive on and then we'll close our card and that'll put those feet in the right position. So just make sure you put that adhesive right here on the bottom. Only on the bottom of those feet. And then we'll go ahead and close that card and let that glue dry. Once the glue is dry we're going to be ready to add our cat head on. And the one thing you want to make sure is that the cat doesn't poke out the end of the card when you fold it. So you'll want to make sure you place your cat low enough on the body that when it's folded um, his ears don't poke out of the card. So I think that's a pretty good position. That's about as far as you can go. And if you'll look when I open that up you can kind of see where that's positioned. It's just taking the chin right below the curve there on the legs. So you can kind of see here on the back, it leaves about three-fourths of an inch from the top of the, the head to that line. So I'm going to take that away and kind of leave my fingernail there and put some adhesive through this area. And we'll go ahead and glue that cat head in place. Just make sure it's nice and straight or a little bit tilted if you want. Just whatever position you want that in would be really cute. And then when I close it, you can see that my ears are not going beyond the fold. So it'll still fit in an A2 card. Look how cute he is. 
So let's go ahead and put, I've put in the file a couple of different, different sentiments. I've put the meow in there and then I've put happy Valentine's Day and happy birthday. So you can use this for either birthday or Valentine's with the sentiments I put in there. But of course you could always stamp another sentiment or something, something else. Or you could do a print and cut of your own. So look how cute that is looking. And then I've also included a little heart. I thought it was cute here on the exclamation point. That would be darling there. Be cute up here, just anywhere. Um, cute, you know, on the cat, like a little hair bow. Whatever you want to do with that heart. I think I'll just go ahead and put it down here on the exclamation point and just cover that up because I think that's kind of fun. So we've got this sweet little pop-up cat. It says meow. So let's go ahead and put our, our dog together. Okay, the dog is assembled exactly the same way. I just wanted to show you how his face is uh, put together. On the back, I've layered the circle just um, going beyond the little peak here so that it looks like um, his mouth kind of poking through and then I've um, given you a piece to layer so that he can have another color for his face. So we'll just go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of that, making sure to get some adhesive down in those peaks so they don't bend on us. And we'll just flip that over and glue that right in place. Look how cute he's getting. You can also make sure that you line up those eyes so you can see his black coming through on his eyeballs just right. And if you have any extra glue, just wipe that off and it'll dry clear. So let's go ahead and put our body on. Again, folding those feet forward. All four of those go forward. And we're just gonna line that back piece up. So let's go ahead and do that first. While I'm here, I'll go ahead and put some adhesive on the bottom of those feet. And line that right up. And fold that over while it's drying. And then I'm going to open it again and pull these feet back and those feet are not quite dry yet but what I'm going to do is go ahead and add the adhesive to these so while I'm holding they can all four be drying. Once those are dried we're ready to go ahead and put our little puppy face on. You can see his little tail sticks up here in the back and if you wanted that tail to be a different color you could cut this piece out of another color. It'd be really cute out of the dark brown as well. And again, you'll just want to make sure um, that he doesn't extend beyond the card. So when you close it, just make sure that it's right where you want it and then kind of open that up and hold it in place so you kind of know where to glue it. And I'm just going to put my finger right at the bottom of his ear so I know that I have, have to put his ear to about right there in order for it to fit. Hey, look how cute he is. So on this one, you can see that there's just a tiny bit of gap here between the bottom of his mouth and the cutout for his legs here. Yep, and he folds just right. So now we'll go ahead and put our Happy Valentine's Day in. And you could put that up here. I think that's darling too. But I'll go ahead and peel those off. And we'll put it down here by the woof. I like it. It's like a translation because it's in parentheses. It's, it's he's saying woof and that means happy Valentine's Day. So cute. On this one, I think I might go ahead and put the little heart up here. And it might be fun to actually cut some other hearts to decorate the top portion of this card. But isn't he cute? I just love how he looks. Little little doggy. And we've got our cat. And those will make fun Valentine cards for, for kids. So I hope you enjoy making these cute pop-up cat and dog Valentine cards or birthday cards, um, whatever you decide to use for your sentiments. 
and I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.